guys, Anika, welcome to my channel, Anika. So I'm not wearing any makeup right now, I look really fucking whack. But today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul. See, I like to justify spending a lot of money by saying that I'm going to do a clothing haul because then it's like I'm investing in myself, you know? Sure, I spent like $200, but... I usually do like one giant haul at the beginning of the summer and then that's it. Like I won't buy anything for a while. But I got a bunch of stuff from Urban Forever 21 and then I thrifted a bunch of stuff and then I got some swimsuits from Primark. So I'm gonna show you all of that and it's a try on haul. Hauls aren't interesting if they're not try on hauls. You want to see how everything fits. First let's start with the stuff that I thrifted. I went to two thrift stores. I went to one in Texas which is thrift giant and then I went to one in Boston called Urban Renewal. So I'll start with the one in Boston. My favorite cop was these shoes. They're like a tiny bit too small, but I can wear them definitely. I don't, they're like platform shoes. I've been looking for shoes like this for a while and I got them for five dollars. That was just like, I had to do it. I had to do it to them. Sorry, I'm gross. Okay. My second greatest cop from Urban Renewal is this Minecraft sweatshirt. The fucking zipper has a pickaxe on it. It says Minecraft University on it. It has a little creeper and then it says Ad Glorium Et I took Latin for three years and I don't know what that means. For the glory of pigs. And then on the back, it has a crafting table, a pickaxe, a sword, and a diamond ore. So that's really dope. I found this in the boys section. It was $6. Kind of expensive, but I needed it. I also got this shirt, so it's just like a rainbow button up. I thought it would be really cute to like tie at the bottom. It's like nice and summery. That was $3. I got this zip up sweatshirt. It's just like large. I don't know. I could wear it with no pants. These are all from the men's section, except for the shoes. I'm pretty sure the rainbow shirt is from the men's section. No, it's from the ladies. Okay, that's everything that I got from that thrift store and then from the thrift store in Texas thrift giant I got this pair of jeans which actually Anna found she got them for herself but they didn't really fit and they fit me really well they're Wrangler jeans which is kind of amazing um and they were only four dollars these are cute they're just like light wash mom jeans mom jeans and then I got two dresses I know it's kind of like impractical because when am I gonna wear dresses I don't know especially these they were so cheap and I felt like they just looked really good on me and I needed to get them for the occasion they were so cheap so like why not I got this pink strapless one which I get kind of like businesswoman vibes, but I also get like cocktail party vibes. So I feel like it's like useful. And this was only $4, so. And then I got this dress that looks like Cinderella, kind of, not really. Her dress was a ball gown, but the color reminds me of her. It's just like a literal like full length dress. It has like these beads up here, which are so gorgeous. And it's really cute. And I got this for $5. There's like a strap in the back that's broken. So I think I'm gonna have to like try and rip the seam out. If I can do that, the material's kind of weird. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but it's really, really pretty. I don't know when I'm gonna wear it though. Okay, so that's everything that I got from thrift stores. So before I went to Texas, I went to LF because they're having their like spring sale, summer sale, whatever. They only have like two sales a year, maybe four. I don't know if they have one each season or one every other season. I know they have like a winter one and I got stuff for that. But I got two things this time. I think they're both from Karmar. These are like, you know those like black carpenter pants that I have? I don't know if y'all like follow me on Instagram, but I have these black carpenter pants from Brandy that I wear all the time. And these are like the shorts version of them. It comes with like a little belt, but they're really cute. They're like high-waisted black shorts and they have nice pockets and the like white stitching. And then I got this, which I wore to the Bestie Tour. It's this like coral cheetah print skirt. It's a lot, I know, but I wanted to wear something fun for the Bestie Tour, so I got this. But my nails did not match at all. I really did not think that through. But before this color, I had gotten orange, so I couldn't just like get coral. It would have been weird. I guess I could have, but like. So next, all my shit from Forever 21. So I was intrigued when I saw the Cheeto collection, but ultimately everything was kind of lame. I, I don't know, I feel like that collection's a little bit weird and so I didn't get anything from that but they have a bunch of collabs forever 21 is really stepping up their shit so I got a shirt from their Pepsi collab it's really cute it's like a tie-dye shirt long sleeve which I have like no long sleeve it's really cropped it has the Pepsi logo on the front and then it says Pepsi down the sleeve I don't know I thought this was fun and it does not look like it's from forever 21 forever 21 really used to like ruin their shit it would just be like a nice shirt and then on the back it would be like I love tacos like they would ruin it somehow but their stuff recently like pretty like chill and normal another thing that I love that I got is is a Simpsons shirt with the bullies on it. I love this so much. I can't wait to wear it. Such a great cop. I love it. I was really happy that they had that. I feel like lots of brands when they do Simpsons shirts, they do like the main characters, but I like these guys. It's like unique and interesting and like. <laughs> Another amazing thing that I found at Forever 21 was this Cheez-Its 
tube top. I had to do it to him. This is just iconic. I don't know. I thought this was so fucking funny. And then I also got this angel shirt, which is literally so soft at the top. It's like ruched. Not ruched. That's not the word I'm looking for. I mean, I guess. Yeah. I know there's like a sewing term for it, but it's like scrunched. And then the bottom is like smooth. It's really pretty. It has like cherubs on it and I love cherubs a lot. And then I also got this romper, which is so pretty. I haven't tried it on yet and I feel like it's going to look bad, but I'm kind of scared to try it on because if it looks bad, I'm going to be really sad because it's really cute. But it's just like this black romper with lace around the top and then it has like lace in the middle. It doesn't have pockets, which is really disappointing. I'm kind of triggered. I really like pockets. And then last from Forever 21, I got this bodysuit. I have to try it on. I really don't know how it's going to look on because I can see it going either way. It kind of looks weird. I don't really know when I got it. I really like tank tops with like lace. So that's probably why I got it. Oh no. Ha 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 ha. Second to last store, Urban Outfitters. I only got two things from here, but there's this Urban Outfitter in Austin by the Urban Renewals. I went there today and their sale section is really good. I've never gotten anything from an Urban Outfitters sale section except for I've gotten one one thing but that was in like 2015. I have not bought anything from the sales section because it's usually all trash. This sales section was so good. I was kind of shook. I mean I only got two things but like that's a lot for me. So first I got this shirt which Julia pointed out to me. It's these balls and it says this party sucks and then on the back it says let's bounce. <laughs> Funny! It's cute. I really like the balls. I don't have any graphic t-shirts that are like normal length So this would just look cute with like mom jeans. This was $20 on sale. Originally it was $34 So it's kind of like expensive. And then this other thing which was so cute I don't know why it was on sale. Like normally the ugly stuff is the stuff that's on sale But it's just like white and pink checkered tube top with like flowers on it. This was only $10 I don't know. I think it's so adorable. Ugh, I love tube tops and I love pink and I love flowers and I love checkered shit and I love I love stuff that's on sale. So then the last store that I got stuff from was Primark. I got some swimsuits from there because I haven't bought swimsuits since seventh grade. So all my swimsuits are like hella small and kind of ugly. So I got one pair of bottoms because I have bottoms and they still fit. So I didn't really need them, but I have black bottoms. So I thought I would get colorful pairs, like pink. And then I got a black top because I don't know. Who was I with? I was with my friend Sarah, Miriam, and Julia. I was like, what do you guys think of this? And Sarah was like, it's cute. But she grabs it. She's like, this is like super push-up. I was like, I know. It was funny. You had to be there. It's like ruched here. And then I got this green one, which I think is super dope. I literally have not had an opportunity to wear this because I don't live near a beach. I don't have friends. Um, it's also ruched here, but it's like lime green and then it has black and white band it like clasps together really weirdly it, like goes in and then it's kind of like a hook in the front bra but it's in the back i mean cool i guess so yeah that's everything that i got for this haul guys i hope that y'all enjoyed it <laughs> thank you so much for watching please comment rate subscribe psych my dick and keep on supporting capitalism i'm just kidding but like isn't that kind of what we're all doing tell me that i'm an idiot you know that you'll be lying what